Hello friends, happy Friday or happy Saturday is probably when you're watching this. Today is day five of vlog week, so today is a Friday for me when I'm filming this, but I'm really happy that I've been doing vlog week. Let me know if you'd like to see this again. I honestly could keep vlogging every single day. Today's gonna be a really good day, even though I am currently in the job application process and the job search process um, I really have had like quite a busy week but I've talked about that before um, and I've kind of been down on myself but today I'm in like a really good mood I'm feeling really positive and I'm feeling like really productive earlier this week I was just putting this pressure on myself to get things done that didn't even really have to be done and I was kind of wasting my whole day and today I'm just like in a really good mood and like in the mood to get stuff done more so than feeling like I have to so it is currently about 10 35 and I've already been to the gym this morning I woke up at like 8 and just um, hung out with Daisy for a minute and I went to the gym worked out and I'm just feeling really good today the weather's pretty good it's not as hot as it has been I think I'm about to take Daisy on a little walk through the neighborhood and then take a little shower next week I'm definitely gonna prioritize getting an earlier start to my day because still even though it's 10 35 that's still late compared to what I'm normally used to starting my day like I'm used to starting my day at like 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the morning. I saw this TikTok of this woman saying not to apologize for your appearance in your videos. Um, but I feel like I need to because I just, this is not the look right now. But I didn't do like a cutesy intro today. Um, honestly, I just didn't think about it this morning. And so it's just been kind of a short morning. I've just been, you know, woke up, got ready, worked out. And Daisy's out here. I love the way the backyard's looking. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're into like interior, exterior decorating design stuff because we're still working on the house and um, my mom's gonna get like flower beds and all kinds of landscaping done back here it's just none of that's been done yet except for this right here so we're out of the shower all comfy I'm about to make some coffee um, I'm trying to do better by actually drinking my own coffee but the thing is I have one like actual espresso like this is a double shot pod left and then these are actually the most disgusting things ever this is the vanilla custard pie and the caramel cookie you would think they would taste like those things but they don't at all um, this is a coffee this is a Bianco Forte I kind of like this one um, I really like this I think this is the Fortado I want to say I hope I'm saying that right um, so overall like these three are the ones that I are my go-to's. I don't know what to do with all these. If anyone like lives near me and like wants some and has like this kind of Nespresso machine and wants some caramel cookie and vanilla custard pie, I got you. And again, I talked about it earlier this week. I've been really addicted to Starbucks lately just because I like their double shot. I just like how I like somebody else to make my coffee for me. I know so many people can relate to that. I use our new coffee mug i really want i see why people buy the mason jars now because the mason jars will hold a lot we're frothing the milk it's still going but this is the result of i think this is i don't remember i think 5.7 ounces comes in this thing um in this pod so it's just like there's never enough room to add milk to so we're gonna try and like stir this up and i need to add more ice this is just so satisfying to watch mm now that's art okay there's just no denying that this is just beautiful um great job claire you did great we got some random art by accident but still so my hair is obviously wet and i'm just sitting down at the table got my coffee right here and i thought we would just chat for a second um just do some girl chat i don't know what to call this um first i wanted to say i realized that i wear these same exact clothes in every video and that's because i have not really gone shopping in the past six months because one i don't really see the need to because nobody's going anywhere like i can do hauls for my channel and stuff if they are hauls they're going to be more like loungy workout gear rather other than like cutesy clothes I have no cutesy clothes right now um all of my stuff are in boxes and storage but even then like I don't know I sold a lot of my clothes I feel like I say this every year like I sell all my clothes and then um kind of start over and this year I just have not started over because I haven't felt the need to go buy cutesy clothes so um let me know if that bothers you guys I realized like this morning I wore the same exact outfit I wore to the gym just on Monday and that's fine with me it doesn't bother me but I know so many youtubers and bloggers uh just change up their outfits and do hauls from all these cutesy boutiques now once everything is back to normal I'm going to hopefully move to a new city which we'll get into in a second and then um 
you know, revamp my wardrobe and actually start putting effort in um, because it's like I can get all dressed and ready, but it's like, where am I going to go? You know, I don't have anywhere to go normally besides the gym or to the coffee shop. Like I'm here with my dog all day pretty much. The second thing I wanted to talk about is where should I move y'all? Like I have been thinking about this so much lately. I told you guys in every video this week, taking like a two week break with the company that's helping me find a job. But with that being said, it's still like constantly in the back of my mind, like what to do next. Like that's literally like all I've been thinking about is like, where do I want to go? I've never had the opportunity in my life to just say, I want to move to this city, this city, this city. Like it's always kind of been like led for me. And so now I can really just think about like, okay, where do I want to look for a job? And I talked about Atlanta and Nashville. Those are still my top two. I've always felt this connection to wanting to move to Atlanta. But then the other day, I started getting the good vibes from Nashville. So now I'm like, where do I go? And I've only spent, like I haven't spent like a ton, a ton of time in either city. I've spent more time in Atlanta. Where do you guys think I should go? And it doesn't have to be those two cities. Ultimately, I would like to be in surrounding states, but I don't want to move to really, like I don't see myself in like Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas. I'm trying to think of what's even surrounding on that side. I see myself in Florida, um, but at the same time, like, is still florida's a lot bigger than it looks like if i were to move to the bottom of florida that's the same distance as it is to ohio um from home and so i don't know but i would move there like i feel like that would be a fun adventure and i would enjoy moving there you know, i just feel like something's calling me to nashville or atlanta I know I talk about this a lot lately, but this is like, I told you guys I would bring you guys in the process. I applied for a really cool sounding job in Nashville and I have not heard back yet. I just applied yesterday, but if that were to work out, it would be perfect. I just feel like I'm talking to y'all like I'm talking to a friend because it's like a Friday and my mom has plans and I don't. So I'm going to be here all day alone, but it's already almost 11.45. And the other videos I want to film, I told you guys I did not like the glam look I did two days ago. So I'm going to refilm that. And then also my jewelry collection video, still have not filmed that. But at the same time, really not in a rush because i think i'm actually going to vlog this weekend too um i can do like the full week vlog saturday and sunday even though i have no clue what we have planned um i think we might be going to pensacola tomorrow guys that took so long to edit i have no idea why it is already 1 um i totally should have waited to edit this video which is the tips and tricks on youtube um but i just edited yesterday's vlog and I, it's currently uploading. Luckily, I've already made the thumbnail and everything. But holy cow, how is it already afternoon? That took me like over an hour to edit. I did not think it would take that long. So while that is uploading, we are going to make our way into my room. Um, first, I showed you guys this other day. I have all of my jewelry kind of organized into piles and like how I'm gonna talk about everything. Um, I really know you guys are probably like so tired of me saying I need to do this. I'm probably gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this. Um, the jewelry video, I really wanted to go up like Sunday. I don't know. I just am really in the mood to post it. But um, since I'm going to be vlogging this weekend, that means I'm going to have videos filmed up until this Monday. So that means I can like wait and film this Monday and then just post, you know, Tuesday or Thursday, whatever. I really want to get back into my regular filming schedule. Um, also, I wanted to film a makeup video today, but I think I kind of just want to play with makeup and put on makeup today. Guys, I have been what I thought was recording for like three minutes Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are obviously in my bed now. I made my bed this morning. I'm doing really good about it. I just said all this. I thought I was recording, but I wanted to show you guys these pictures. I know you've seen them before. Now that the bed's here, we are going to hang them. Originally, they were going to be even with the bed, like behind the lamp, but we thought the bed was going to be taller. Honestly, I thought the bed was going to be like as tall as how that picture is now, and they were going to be off to both sides above the lamps, but the bed is a lot shorter than it I originally thought. Or maybe just the mattress is taller. I don't know. But what we're going to do now instead, I think, is we're going to just hang both of them evenly above the bed. Normally, I'm not into, like, doubles, you know? Like, I feel like it needs three. Three would be too wide. But... I think it'll be okay with two. Do you think it'll be okay having both of them just hung above the bed? I mean, I think it'll look fine. Michael Scott's gonna have to go. He kind of throws off the vibe. We love him, but at the same time, 
Um, I still have got to paint this picture, I mean this mirror, silver, because it's just kind of clashing, you know what I'm saying? And then you guys saw my silver jewelry box. I don't know where I'm going to put that. Guys, look, I have a face. So, this is pretty big because it has been so long since I've done just like everyday makeup, like with actual foundation, just mascara, because I'm very drastic. Either I'll do no makeup at all, maybe a BB cream, or either I'll go full glam to film a video. But this is like what I used to do every single day for pretty much work and stuff. So this is like my everyday makeup look. And I haven't done it in so long, so I feel just good. I feel like I can leave my house right now and not be embarrassed of my presence. I know you might not can see me that well, um, but I, I'm about to make the video live. It finally finished processing and everything. So this is day four vlog I'm making live right now. I wish I would have done this in the morning. The vlog I'm filming now, I'm gonna edit tonight because I don't think I'm gonna be here tomorrow. I think my mom and I are again going out of town to Pensacola. Um, anyway, I am making this live putting in some ads. Okay, so as soon as I get this live, I decided I'm going to go to Sephora. I have not been into a Sephora in so long, and there is a Sephora inside of the JCPenney near my house, um, so it's like 10 minutes away, and I haven't been in there in forever. I used to go in there all the time because Ulta used to not be a big thing. Like, I think Sephora was a lot bigger here for the longest time, so I wanna go to Sephora. There is this perfume, it's called something. It's called like not a perfume. I don't know what it's called. And um, if they don't have it here, I'm gonna make my mom take me to, Juliet has a gun is what it's called. And everyone says it smells so good. So I wanna see if this Sephora has it, but if not, I'm gonna go in Sephora in Pensacola tomorrow just to sniff it out. Cause they, it says online that they do have it. So that's, that's my new mission in life, is to find this perfume. I was gonna like bring you guys to Fairhope, which is like cute little spot. If you're from the area, you know, I love Fairhope. The thing is about where I live, I live in Spanish Fort. It's basically the same thing as Daphne um, and also Loxley. And there's also Fairhope, which is a little bit like a 20 minute drive from where I live. And the thing is like where this whole area is great for either kids, like in high school, like, when I was in high school, we came here all the time because there's things like the movies or just like walking around. And then it's great for like families, like with little kids or like older people. But people my age don't really live here that much, I feel like. Like I don't know a lot of people my age that live in this spot. And so that's what kind of makes it difficult is none of my friends live here anymore. They all live in different parts of Alabama. Um, well, I do have like friends that live here, but not like, like here, here, like <laughs> next to me. Um, but the thing is like, it's just like either families or retired people I feel like live here. So that's the main reason why I know I cannot live here forever. I want to live in a city. I like fast paced. I like go, go, go. I like adventure. I like having different things to do on the weekends. I like brunch spots, coffee shops. And we have like some of that, but I wanna be in the midst of it. You know what I'm saying? Like I want a skyline and I love the hometown vibe, you know, where you can drive around wherever and not have to worry too much about traffic. Um, but at the same time, it's just like, I need some more action in my life. So that's why I'm really hoping that I get a job soon. Not only for that reason, also like I enjoy working thoroughly. Like I really do enjoy working. So as I was going out the door, I remembered Claire, wait, you need to ship out these giveaway boxes. So I wrote the thank you cards and I got them all ready to go. And I realized we are out of tape once again. Um, there's like a very tiny amount on there, but I know it's not enough. So we are gonna have to go and get some more tape for these boxes. Super flustered about that because I really wanted to get them shipped out, but it's already 2.30, so like, I do have time. I mean, what else do I have to do today? I was like, I haven't really talked about this, I don't think. Maybe I have, I don't know, and I'm not even trying to be funny. When I was in Ohio, living in Columbus, it's crazy, I only really lived there like seven months alone, but I got really lonely, and so to make up for all that loneliness, I took all the money that I was making, well, not all of it, but you know, if you watch my vlogs, all I did was go shopping. Like, I went to Target all the time, I went to the mall all the time. I spent so much money on Christmas decor. And it's just because like I had nothing else to 
to do really so I spent all of my time and money going shopping and just buying things doing hauls and spending like too much on just random stuff that I did not need and so wherever I go next I've talked about this before I'm gonna be as minimal as possible I love things I love decor I love shopping all that stuff but looking back it was kind of out of control but it was like if I didn't go shopping then I was just in my apartment by myself doing nothing and I needed things to do like I went to Ulta no joke at least once a week i went to target like two to three times a week it was crazy um luckily we are past that phase but i did go to target yesterday but i just got note cards and now i need to go get tape which i can go somewhere else and get tape too but yeah we're about to go and finally go over to sephora um I really genuinely just want to walk around and see if they have that perfume. So JCPenney is closing. I don't even know if you can see the signs. Um, I just walked in there to see Sephora to see if it was still there. And it is all closed up and I'm very sad. So there's this little thing. It's called the Fort. I brought y'all here in a vlog like last year, I think. Um, it was supposed to be like, I mean, they have like food, drinks, that kind of thing. Um, and it's really cute over there, but there's just not a lot plus it's like a friday at like three and again this is more of a family town kind of vibe um okay there you can see the jc penny is closing um not sure where we're going now i have no agenda at the moment i do need to go i guess back to target to get some tape doesn't this just look familiar we're back at target i'm about to go in and get some tape also forgot to look for that toothpaste yesterday and I know I've talked about this like all the time. This water bottle right here, great investment. It was like $16 from TJ Maxx. Um, compared to like the other more expensive brands, I would totally get this. It does the exact same thing. I will never understand why a water bottle would be like $50 or $60. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend. Also, I forgot yesterday to look for that toothpaste I mentioned from TikTok. Um, so we're going to look for that. And... I might also get um, a dress or something to wear to Pensacola tomorrow because I haven't taken like a cute picture in forever so I just want to I haven't bought new clothes either in forever but yeah truly it is impossible to film in Target because there are so many people in there um, but I got some tape if you can see then I also ran out of my favorite vitamins last night these things just truly Ollie if you would sponsor me I would love that because I genuinely am obsessed with everything um, their energy vitamins everything and then also for tomorrow I found this dress it's I'm not like obsessed with it but it was in like the wild fable section the section and I just thought it had cute little puffy sleeves I can show you a better look when we get home but it's kind of just like one of those like flowy short dresses and I thought it would be cute I'm gonna clean um, my Nikes um, my Air Force ones because they are so dirty and I hate how dirty they are um, but I wear them literally every single day and I thought they would just be cute with this and then I might curl my hair tomorrow. I just have not taken like a cute Instagram picture in forever and honestly that was the purpose of me buying this dress. Also I'm back home. It's like 4.45. My mom's friend is coming over. They're going out to eat and she's coming to see our new house. So I'm going to be chilling by myself tonight. I'm in my room right now. I tried on that dress. I like it. It's just kind of like puffy but it's still kind of cute. Um, it just kind of gives me fall vibes, but it's so hot so you can't really wear anything long. After she gets here, I think I'm going to go pick up me some food because I'm getting hungry. And we're just going to have a night to ourselves, but while I'm waiting on that, I'm actually going to get on my laptop. Okay, y'all, so it's 6.30. Um, my mom and her friend are out eating. I decided to go pick me up some Baumhauer's. What a wild Friday night. Like, I mean, come on. And then I went by Fresh Market. Fresh Market is one of those places that I wish I could afford to shop there full time. <laughs> I've talked about these in my videos before. These are the almond pillow cookies. So many people messaged me after I put this on my Instagram story and were like, yo, I've been obsessed with these cookies for so long and no one gives them any credit. Thank you for giving these cookies some credit. You're welcome. So if you want to change your life, almond cookies they have another one i forgot to try it was like a lemon blueberry i didn't see it when i was in there these were the only ones i saw besides like a plain sugar cookie i think also guys i rarely ever drink alcohol for real 
Um, I have a couple pictures on Instagram, I think, of me holding a mimosa. Mimosas are like my favorite thing if I'm going to drink something, but I forgot to get orange juice. So we just have some Prosecco. Typically, you would use champagne, but I do. And I will admit wholeheartedly, I love Prosecco. Um, to me, it's not like super strong, but yeah, so definitely don't drink if you're underage. I am an old woman, almost 24, but I'm about to have me a glass of Prosecco because I have had, the past couple weeks have just not been the best. Also today, I booked a trip to Charleston, South Carolina with some of my friends and I'm really excited. Um, it was super spontaneous, random, um, was not planning on this at all. And one of my friend just texted me today and was like, we're planning on going here, do you wanna come? And I was like, yes. I do because you just saw yesterday I was talking about a road trip by myself so I'm really excited um, so if you have any suggestions of things to do in Charleston let me know I cannot even take myself seriously my forehead is so shiny right now I don't know why but it is much later it is like 10 15 I didn't even realize it was that late um, so I had dinner my mom came back I watched the office for a long time and then I had a moment where I was like I think I want to I think I know what I want to do right now so if you were on my channel several months ago like back in February I created a website and then I didn't forget about it I just put it on pause because I got really busy with work and just really busy with life and I was like I'm one of those people that I don't, I don't like to start something unless I'm going to go all in with it. And so I didn't see myself going all in with the website and YouTube and work and everything. So tonight I decided to bring the website back up and I um, paid for my URL and everything. It's still private, but I'm hoping this week I'm going to work on it. I'm going to do like, it's going to be kind of like a blog um, where I put like all of my favorite things, typically just like a standard beauty fashion lifestyle blog um, and it's just gonna be my name and so I'm gonna be working on it um, this week I've already gotten like two blog posts done so I think I'm gonna do several tabs like a beauty tab a lifestyle tab a fashion tab and a favorites tab and the favorites I think I'm just gonna update like once a month do like monthly favorites and then the um, other three I'm gonna try and do like weekly posts I don't know. We're going to see where this goes. Um, I know it's going to be a lot on me on top of YouTube because even just making one article took me a long time um, just to get all the linking and things. And if you don't already follow me on like to know, if you don't know what that is, that is a site for um, like bloggers and anyone interested in like fashion and lifestyle beauty, please go follow me on there. I have to hit a certain threshold of followers um, within the next two months or I don't get to use it anymore because I haven't been taking it that seriously this year again I got all excited to do this earlier in the year then I put it on pause which is a mistake so I would appreciate it but I think I'm gonna like announce my blog website next week so if you're in this video this far then you'll kind of know early on but that's what I've been working on for hours and I think I'm gonna keep working on it um until I go to sleep because I think my mom and I are gonna go to Pensacola kind of early I didn't wash my hair again tonight normally y'all know I can't if I leave my house or walk outside, I wash my hair again, but I want to curl my hair tomorrow, I think, and if I'm not feeling it, then I'll just wash it in the morning, but I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm also going to edit this vlog actually really quickly. I'll see y'all tomorrow for day six. Bye!